Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, chemistry and of course we'll continue our study of organic chemistry. On this episode we're going to be looking uh, basically at structural isomerism. Structural. Structural isomerism. All right. All right. Please do not, do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video. So please click on that like button now. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, whenever we post a new video, you'll get a notification on your phone. It is to help you. And then do not forget to what? To, of course, keep sharing this video to your friends and loved ones. This tutorial is sponsored by the O3 Schools Jam app, the best CBT practice app you can have, okay, for sure success in your exam. Let's see a question from the app 2005, number 14. 2005 number 14 a jump question it says which of the following are structural isomers which of the following are structural isomers a propanoic acid and propan 1 2 diol b propanal and propanone c ethanoic acid and propanoic acid d ethan 1 2 diol and ethanoic acid okay so this is a simple question as opposed to get within what the tick of the finger all right so please we are going to come back to this question and many more questions from this wonderful application so please do not forget to go to play store immediately and download the app and start practicing like your life depends on it it has all the past question from jam so you have nothing to worry about past question okay and of course it has a classroom that is what structured according to the jam syllabus those that class that classroom has lecture notes that is structured according to the jam syllabus so you do not need any textbook some of you don't even know that you need jam syllabus to succeed in your exam all right so please you need to study according to jam syllabus and those lecture notes there and structured according to the syllabus. Then we have the questions hard feature. And what is more is that we have the UTM mock challenge. Okay, every Saturday you compete with thousands of jam bites, win amazing prizes, get used to jump pass and likely exam questions. What is more is that what you see your score release every Saturday. So you are not scared when they say jam, don't release results. All right, so please go to Play Store, download the app and activate for a small fee and start what enjoying what the benefits. Okay, let's go to structural isomerism. Okay, so structural what isomerism is defined as the existence of two or more compounds, okay, having the same molecular formula, right, but having what a difference in their structures. Okay, so they differ in their what in their structural formula, but they have the same what molecular formula. Okay, so we say that structural isomerism, all right, that our structural isomerism is defined okay as the existence existence of two or more compounds okay having what the same molecular formula molecular formula okay but what different different structural what structural formula okay so in the last episode we were through a hint about what structural isomerism and we said that based on what and of course these two compounds that differ in their what in their structures that call what structural isomers we call them structural isomers structural isomers right so these compounds are talking about that what that differ Okay, that differ, okay, but different in their world structural formula. We call them what those compounds structural what isomers. All right, and of course, uh, based on how they define their structures, there are what five types, five major types of what of um of structural isomerism that we talked about in the last class, although there's still more. Okay, let us just talk about let us clearly list them out. Number one, we say the chain or the nuclear. Structural isomerism, if you remember very well, then number two, we we'll talk about what the position, positional what isomerism. Then we'll talk about functional group, functional group isomerism. Then we we'll also talk about what, what tautomerism, tautomerism. All right, let's we'll talk about metamerism, metamerism. All right, we also have what we call ring isomerism. All right, but of course we are going to talk about only these three, okay, according to the scope, okay, of your syllabus, okay. So we are not going to what talk about tautomerism, metamerism, and ring isomerism, okay. So focusing on chain, nuclear, and uh, functional group of isomerism. So let us continue one after the other. Let's take them. So let's begin with the chain isomerism, okay. So chain isomerism 
have structural isomers, okay, that differ in the length of their carbon chains. Chain isomerism, that is chain or nuclear now, okay? These ones, they have their structural isomers, okay? Their structural isomers will differ, okay, in the, in the length of their carbon chains. Okay, we said that they are structural, they are structural isomers, all right? Differ, differ in the length of their carbon what chain all right so those are those are what i call the chain or the nuclear what the chain or the nuclear structural what isomers all right or the chain or nuclear structural isomerism all right it's a type of isomerism all right whereby the structural isomers differ in the length of the carbon chain for example if i give him uh, an organic compound like pentane c5 H12, all right? So we know, you agree with me, that was pentane has six, uh, five carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen with atoms. All right, that means you will draw pentane. I see, C, 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 C. This is what, normal what pentane, okay? Having what, how many hydrogen atoms? Of course, five, uh, 12 hydrogen and what, and five carbon. That is this, 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 H here, 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 H here. We can write this in the condensed form, of course. It will now become what? CH3, right? This one is what? CH2, 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 CH2 again. Okay, and what? CH3. This is what the condensed form, all right? So we can write it like, well, like, like this form, or I can all write it like this form. This is what normal what pentane, okay? This is normal pentane. So now what you can do, okay, since what chain or nuclear what isomers, they differ, okay, in the length of the carbon chain, we can what decide to reduce the length of what this carbon chain so that we have what an isomer of what of what of, of pentane, okay? So for example, we can have four carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, all right? And they will now have what a methyl group here. All right, then yeah, H, 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 H. Okay, so we can have what we can we have shortened the word the length of the carbon chain now. All right, and then we have put what a group on top. Okay, so now this is what this is an isomer of what of this. Okay, so this one will be called okay if you number them. This is one, two, three. Four, all right. Of course, you take what the shortest, what possible, what length. Okay, you can. You can also, if you start numbering from here, one to. I was going to what, talk about how to what name organic compound very soon, so that should not be a problem. All right. So now that is that. So this is what one. Two, you take what the shortest, what uh, shortest was chain. Okay, shortest carbon. All right. Take the shortest numbering or what on the carbon. That is what two. So this will be what two. Then this is what a metal group. Two methyl, one, two, three, four. That is what butane. All right. That is the uh, simple what uh, uh, naming to what to this compound. Okay. Two methyl two. The group that is what attached to it was so a methyl group. They now have one, two, three, four. That is what butane. We have named. We have what gotten what an isomer for what for for normal what pentane. We can still have another isomer like this. We can have another isomer like this. Okay, so that we can now have what C C C, all right? Yeah, CH three, yeah CH three, yeah CH three. Okay, <laughs> sorry, yeah CH three. Then here, uh, of course, CH three. All right. So now you have what shorting what this what uh, for that shorting what this uh, uh this carbon number of carbon atoms here. Okay, yeah, we have what. The longest chain has what, four carbon atoms, but here now we now have three carbon atoms. Okay, so this is it now. Just like taking C CH3, then what well, this CH3 coming here, this one, or this one retaining its position, this one coming here, this one staying here. All right, so we have further what kind of what shorting the length of the carbon atoms. All right, so here now we now have how many metal groups? Now have four metal groups, okay, bonded to what to a central carbon what atom. Okay, so since we have what a uh, metal group here, a metal group here, all right? So we can now say what? We can number, this is one, this is two, this is three. Okay, since carbon is in position two, we call it what, two? This other uh, metal group, this 
metal group is in position two. This metal group is in position two also. Okay, so two 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 metal group on what on the what second carbon atom. Then we have two two. Then how many metal groups are here? Two. So you say what di? Okay, di methyl propane. All right. So from what from the n word pentane which has the longest what carbon and longest chain of carbon atoms they will now have what the two two uh, the two metal butane they will now further have what the two two dimethyl what propane all these ones now they are what they are chain or what nuclear isomers of what of each other okay they are chain or nuclear structural isomers of each other okay so is that what very very simple so just take note of an example do it yourself and you you, you understand that it's very very easy okay so the first one is imprinting that's what it started from we shorten what we reduce one carbon atom and then we now have the metal group all right so we now have but, uh, two metal butane then for that shorten the length of carbon atom to three Okay, they will not have what metal two metal groups or bonded to what to a central carbon atom. They will not have what two to dimethyl propane. All right, so let us now go to the next what our uh, next um, structural isomer that is of course the positional what structural what isomers positional structural isomers. All right, positional structural isomers actually what differ the structural isomer differ in the position of their functional group or side chains. Okay, let me put that down. Positional structural isomerism. Positional structural structural isomerism. Drop it. Let me shorten it that way. We say what well, this one, that structural isomers, that structural isomers differ in the position of their functional group, functional group or side chain, okay, or side chain on the carbon skeleton, on the carbon or skeleton. All right, so say positional structural isomerism differ in the position of their functional group or side chain on the carbon or skeleton. All right, for example, if we have C3. H7Cl. This is called propyl chloride. That's what propyl was chloride. All right. So the side chain, okay, is what is the chloride. All right. So now we say what positional isomers they differ in the what in the position of their functional group. They have the same what molecular formula, but they, they define the position of their functional group or side chain. So let's just use this as, as an example. Okay, propyl chloride. Then of course we cannot have C. Two, three, all right. Okay, so here we have what Cl. Here we have what H. Here we have H, 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 H. Okay, so this is what one chloropropane. Okay, the the chlor the functional group or what the side chain here. This side chain here. This chlor uh, chloride side chain here is on what on the first carbon atom one. Two, three. Okay, so the way we name, we name from the shortest what uh, points possible. Okay, I'm going to come to name, so I don't want to rush that. Okay, so now this is what the chloride atom is on what on the first carbon here. Okay, so that's why we call this one what one chloropropane. It's propane because we have how many carbon atoms? One, two, three. All right, one chloropropane. This one showing that what is on the what on the first carbon that the side chain is on the first carbon. All right, that means we can also have another one. All right, like this. One, two, three. All right. Then the chloro the the side chain will come over to the middle here. So we have what our 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 hydrogen atoms bonded. H H. H. This will be different because if we start naming, this is what one, two, three. Even if you start naming from here, it should be one, two, three. That means what the position of what of this chloride atom, okay, of this chloride uh, atom or this side chain is still what on the what on the second carbon. So this one will be what now two chloro one two three propane. Okay, so like we are saying, positional what. Structural isomers have the same molecular formula, but of course, they will differ in the position where is where the side chain they where their functional group they the different. Okay, those are what positional what isomer. Okay, I can see this side chain is on the first carbon, 
But this side chain here is on what is on the second carbon. Okay, so these are what these are uh, positional what isomers. Okay, so lastly, we now discuss what the functional group what isomerism, functional group structural isomerism. And for functional group structural isomerism, okay, their structural isomers differ. Their structural isomers differ. Okay, they differ in their functional group. In their functional group, let's look at our functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism. Okay, so we say this one. Their structural isomers, structural isomers, differ. In their functional group, and what this tells us is that the structural, uh, the functional group isomers, okay, they have different or functional group attached to them, okay, they have different functional group. That means that they do not belong to the same what homologous series, okay. The structural isomers do not what belong to the same. Homologous was CD. They do not become, belong to the same family of compounds. Okay? So please take note of that. So, unlike the words, like the chain and the positioner, they belong to the same homologous series. Okay? For the chain, it's, it's the length of what? Of the carbon what, uh, atom. Okay? Length of the carbon chain. All right? The, uh, uh, for function, uh, for position, okay, is the position of the functional group or side chain. All right? But they also belong, but they all belong to the same what homologous or series. But for what? Functional group isomerism. The structural isomer define in their functional group. So since they are having a different functional group, that means they will be in different what homologous or series. An example, of course, is what is acetone, C3H6O. Okay, and acetone. Okay, the simplest word ketone. Okay, so we can draw this, this, the first word isomer like this one, two, three. Okay, the bonded to what? To O, then what is bonded to what? To H. One, two. Okay, H, 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 H. Okay, this one is what? Is propanal. This is propanal. All right, so this is what? This one has what? The all the high functional group C. H O as you can see clearly C H O okay so this is what this is propanal all right so we can also what draw the structural another structural isomer like this now one two three this one bond the bonded to what to O okay so we'll see how our what our H H H all right our what H H H all right so this is correct one two three four okay so I'm um, just you you understand what how to name what okay and how to what draw your bonds very soon all right so now this is what propanone this is propanone propanone this one itself is a ketone it's a ketone okay what well, this one is what it's a uh, it's what it's a uh, it's, uh, it's an alkanal it's an alkanal, okay, or all the hide, all right? So please take note of what of this, okay? So these are what? These are functional group isomers, okay? As you can see, that functional group is different. This one is what? It's a ketone, all right? This one is what? It's an all the hide, all right? Or it's what? It's, a, it's an alkanal, okay? So this is an alkanone, this is what? This is an alkanal, all right? So they have what? Different what? Different functional group, okay? So functional group isomers differ. In the what in their functional group, okay, they have a different functional group and belong to different homologous series, unlike the chain and what and the positional what isomers. Okay, so please take note of what of this. All right, so now let us go to the what to the school jump up and quickly take the question and we will be done with this class so that this class will not drag too long. This is a 2005 question number 14. Which of the following are structural isomers? Which of the following are structural isomers? A propanoic acid and propan 1 to diol. Uh, B, propanal and propanone. Okay, propanal and propanone. C, ethanoic acid and propanoic acid. D, ethan 1, 2, diol and ethanoic acid. Okay, all right, we already have an example there. Okay, that is what's giving us the answer. So, propanal and propanone, they are what? They are isomers. Okay, they are structural what isomers. Uh, to be very specific, functional, structural what? Uh, group what isomerism. All right, so please, there are many questions on the application. Go to the application and what and download and start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T. I'll see you in the next episode where we we'll start talking about what stereo isomerism. Thank you for watching.